but we're going to install the camera. And this is a standard webcam, it's actually a really cheap one, it's about 10, 10 to 15 dollars. And just taking it apart, um, you're left with essentially these wires. And, a, and you have a um, internal set of, of lenses that you can actually rotate and, and get focus on really close things. And the, uh, the camera that will be um, shipped will most likely be the same camera. I, I generally just take the lens apart and I rearrange the lenses so it works for a closer range. So the, the camera is going to be located in this position. Okay, we need to um, first do a couple things. The, this hole is really close to a couple capacitors. So we need to space the head of the number 8 screw away from that. So we're going to use screw, we're going to put a spacer on it, so it um, doesn't have any electrical contact with, uh, with, these, with the capacitors on this point. We're going to go ahead and thread this in. The hole will be pretty, pretty tight, so essentially what you're doing is you're threading the hole. And it will become easier when you get most of it on there. should just free spin once it gets to the point. And it really does need to free spin when it gets to that point because we need to screw it into the... So we've just essentially reamed the hole that's in here. We're going to take the next screw, number 8. Do the same thing, but we don't need a spacer here because there are no electrical components and there's no contacts there. It might be a good idea to do it anyway, but... Free spins there. Now we're going to take another spacer. Put one here, and put one here. This is necessary so we can get um, as, as much of a of straightness as possible. You're not going to be that... If it, if it has any angle to it, it could throw everything off, but we want to get it as straight as possible, or as, or as horizontal as possible in both directions. We're going to take four number eight nuts, and these are going to be used as even further spacers and just making the whole thing solid. And we want to make sure it's, it's kind of loose at this point because we want to screw this into the number eight in screw insert or nut insert. Okay, so we have the screws with the spacer and then the two spacers, two nuts. We're going to add two washers. And we have some we have some flexibility in where we can put it. Um, there are grooves here that will allow us to maneuver this side to side. We want to try to get it as close to the the um, end effector as possible. So what we're going to do is, and we need some area here to be able to be able to get a nut on. But we're going to get it up, get this up as far as possible. And then we're going to add a couple more washers. There's two sides to washers. There's one with a sort of a smooth side and there's another one which from the stamping operation has kind of a rough side. I'm putting the rough side down so I can get it to bite the wood a little bit and I'll need two more nuts. Okay, now put on the nuts on the top and then we're going to do a little bit of measurement to make sure that this is horizontal. We want to get it as horizontal as possible. I mean, it's not that critical. Alright, so I'm going to use a regular ruler, and I'm just going to make sure that it's at the same level. I got one. Just shy of two eighths from the one inch. And now, once you have it all level, we can go ahead and tighten the top screw here, or the top nut, tighten this top nut. And finger tightness is fine because you're going to tighten this top one down. It's really, really critical that this does not move at all because if this starts moving, then your parts are going to be off. Any picking and placing will be off because all is going to be measured from the camera location. I'm going to do another check on the measurement. Let's do a slight tightening here. I don't want to go too much. And now check the squareness of this. This is really, really tight, actually. So this is not going to move at all. Now we have a, a camera connected to the, to the mechanism. The camera is not going to change level at all. So everything, all movements, um, is going to appear pretty, pretty uh, focused. 
there is going to be uh, multiple levels on this table. You'll have a level here, and you'll have a level here that the, uh, the PCB will be on. This is going to be a little lower, but it shouldn't make a difference because the focus on this has, a, it has essentially a range of focus. You want to make sure that it's focused both on this level and on the level that you're picking up components. Now we're going to take this wire and we're going to secure it in some way that it will not be straining this portion of it. It'll probably wrap it around this area here. Since I want to pretty much wire tie this in a cl in close relationship to the to the actual camera, I don't want any strain on this, so I'm going to wire tie it first to something that is not going to do much motion in relationship to the camera. It's pretty much going to stay stationary. So I'm going to wire tie it here. I still, I still have pretty good minimal strain on that tight. That's not moving anywhere. Cut the wire tie. Then I'm going to put it through this um, area here that we've created for all the wires. Um, I'm going to put it to the highest location, highest um, position that I would ever want to go. Okay. And it's going to go through this top. I'm going to have to take this off. Once it's at the top, I'll bring it all the way down and I'm going to place it here. So it should not be a problem. Now this is at its highest position, so I can probably take it to about this point. Then I'm going to bring it all the way down. I'll probably still put a conduit around here, just so it has a has something, some meanings to it. Okay, we'll do a final. 